I think it's a hold. Um, so what's interesting with this company is that they have major production cycles, major deliveries that are visible many years in advance. So there are no major surprises here. I do not see any major catalyst moving the stock price up or down. And they have $150 billion in revenue backlog. So it's a good, steady, slow and steady company, a good company to own for the long term. So if you're in it, it's good to continue holding it. If you do not own it, I do not see a main reason why you should rush into it. A good long term hold, I would say. All right. I'm, I'm very hungry. I feel like rushing into a Chipotle, uh, but I don't know. It's announced today it's made its first ever development deal to expand in the Middle East in partnership with the Al Shia group. Uh, the stock is up more than 50 percent on the year. Uh, do you like Chipotle as a stock? Yes, uh, definitely a buy from. In fact, we've owned it for many years, and it's one of our top performers. It's up, as you said, about 50 percent. Since March, it's up 50 percent. Top performing restaurant stock year to date. In fact, many people don't realize that it's the second largest restaurant stock after McDonald's. And so um, this is a company that was able to grow its EBIT margin from 9% to 19% last year. And that's regardless of the fact that the industry was beset by both food price increases and labor issues. This is also a company that has by far the biggest EBIT uh, growth of 60%, that's 6-0, compared to 4% for the competition. The competition is suffering. They're able to maintain their edge and take advantage of the fact that the competition is not go doing good. They're growing their top line, cutting costs, widening margins, definitely a buy for me. I still don't think Kava is going to be the next Chipotle either, but we'll see. <laughs> what about Pinterest? Uh, we talked to Mark Mahaney last hour. He upgraded the stock to outperform. He sees an inflection point. Do you? I disagree with that. Mm. I think it's a sell. Um, I think it's a sell um, because um, so although there, I would say their gross margin is above average, which I like. However, uh, their EBIT margin is um, minus 11% compared to 6% for the industry, and their SGNA costs are out of control. Uh, CEO compensation is out of control. So, uh, in fact, the CEO had received about half a billion in compensation in the last three years, although the stock price was decreasing. And so this is not fair for their employees. It is not fair for the shareholders. I do not see any reason why to justify it. I think that this is a company actually ripe for activist investor uh, investors to come in. Uh, it's a sell for me. Jeez. We're going to have to have okay. a, a bull bear debate or something. You know, Ava versus Mark. Uh, all, yeah. all over Pinterest. Uh, Ava Ados, in all seriousness, thank you so much for your time today. We really thank appreciate you. it.